Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. If you guys haven't already, please smash the like button, please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Also really important, if you guys have a comment on this, an opinion on this, if you guys have fixed this particular issue, definitely like drop a comment in the comment section. Any questions at all, drop a comment. If you guys fix this, uh, fix this issue, uh, drop a comment in the comment section. Uh, other people uh, might be helped with this issue you might help somebody else out but let's get to it if you guys have this issue there's a good chance you probably have a check engine light on your dash and if you guys know what this code is to look it up you guys are watching this video pretty sure you guys are if you guys are listening to this there's a good chance you guys have an obd2 scanner you guys plugged it in this code came up all right this video we are trying we are going to fix we're going to at least help you guys find out what the problem is, diagnose it, exactly what's causing it, and we're going to try to fix this problem uh, on your vehicle. Also, like I said, if you guys have any comments, any questions, any helpful hints as to what this problem is, leave a comment in the comment section. Let us know how you guys fix uh, your problem. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's talk about this. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. All right, let's talk about this P0046 code. If you guys have this code, chances are you guys had a check engine on your dash and you guys um, plugged in the scanner and got this code. By the way, if you guys haven't already, please smash the like button. Please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up, all that good stuff. If you guys have a comment, leave a comment. But let's talk about this code, how you guys can fix it and and uh, what, it, what, what could cause this problem. So... Turbo Supercharger Boost Control A Circuit Range Performance. Um, that is essentially the definition of the code. It essentially means that your cost computer detected an issue of the turbocharger or supercharger boost control solenoid circuit, um, which eventually which essentially prevents it from achieving the expected boost pressure. So let's talk about what commonly could cause this issue it could be a bad boost control solenoid um, a vgt actuator failure electrical wiring issues vacuum leaks or mechanical problems with the turbo itself such as stuck wastegate veins so what essentially what you guys got to do in this situation is you guys probably have to look uh, at the electrical connections and components, especially if your vehicle has been worked on recently around that area. A lot of times, uh, you know, the harnesses, uh, they, uh, whoever's working on them, sometimes they've got to plug harnesses in. There's a lot of different connectors. And other times they might not have plugged it in all the way. Uh, you guys might want to check for leaks and, and testing the boost control system. So, the code itself signals a performance issue within the boost control circuit. Um, this could be a problem with the variable geometry supercharger VG, VGT or a regular boost control solenoid. All right. Uh, as you guys can see, there's a lot of different components that you guys want to look at as far as trying to fix this issue. Let's talk about the common uh, causes all right and let's go a little bit into the de uh, detail about the VGT actuator uh, is a common point of failure where the electronic or mechanical control for the turbo is not working as intended um, you might uh, if it's easy to get to you might want to swap a lot of these parts out the solenoids the actuators um, some of these parts aren't that expensive if it's easy to get to you might want to just just swap those parts out, particularly if you have an older vehicle, see if it actually changes anything. You guys could have wiring issues, short open wires, loose or corroded electrical connectors, or damaged wiring in the boost sensor or solenoid circuit can cause this code. And I will tell you guys this, um, a lot of times it's not shorted wires or corroded electrical connectors, a lot of times um, uh, if you guys have like electrical issues that has caused this problem, it's because a plug, you know, it's because you had your car worked on recently and, and plugs 
uh, um, weren't plugged in all the way, stuff like that, or, or were left off. Guys could have vacuum leaks. Leaks in the intake manifold can disrupt air pressure and lead to incorrect boost readings. Um, a lot of times with this issue, as far as vacuum leaks are concerned, you guys will have other um, codes aside from this. And what you guys want to do is you guys really want to just look at all the other codes that come up because this code is essentially a generic code. It doesn't tell you exactly where the problem is. Now, the solenoids, the actuators, all these uh, parts of, 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 of the system actually has their own code. And if you're lucky enough to get an extra code, you probably can figure out exactly where it's coming from. Wastegate problem. A wastegate that is stuck open or closed can prevent the turbo from producing the correct boost. Um, dirty air filter, clogged air filter can restrict airflow impacting turbo performance. That's a very, very easy fix if you guys have that issue. Faulty turbo or components issues like internal oil leaks or bearing damage can lead to turbo failure. And that's really not an easy thing to check out. That's probably the thing of last resort as far as fixing is, con is concerned. But let's talk about the symptoms. You guys could have low or no turbo boost. The engine might not be able to generate a sufficient power. You guys could have reduced power. You might experience sluggishness, especially during uh, acceleration. So, um, so hope this has helped you guys out. If you guys have your own comment on this, leave a comment in the comment section guys have had this issue and have solved this issue uh, leave a comment let us know what you guys did as far as solving the problem um, some of these issues might be more common on certain vehicles than others but in any case if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up please subscribe all that good stuff drop a comment take care guys hey guys how's it going welcome to this video all right, let's talk about this P0046 code. If you guys have this code, chances are you guys had a check engine on your dash and you guys um, plugged in the scanner and got this code. By the way, if you guys haven't already, please smash the like button. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. All that good stuff. If you guys have a comment, leave a comment. But let's talk about this code, how you guys can fix it, and and uh, what, it, what, what could cause this problem. So, turbo... Supercharger boost control a circuit range performance. Um, that is essentially the definition of the code. It essentially means that your cost computer detected an issue of the turbocharger or supercharger boost control solenoid circuit, um, which eventually which essentially prevents it from achieving the expected boost pressure. So let's talk about what commonly could cause this issue. It could be a bad boost control solenoid, um, a VGT actuator failure, electrical wiring issues, vacuum leaks, or mechanical problems with the turbo itself, such as stuck wastegate veins. So, what essentially what you guys got to do in this situation is you guys probably have to look uh, at the electrical connections and components, especially if your vehicle has been worked on recently around that area a lot of times uh you know the harnesses uh, they uh, whoever's working on them sometimes they forget to plug harnesses in there's a lot of different connectors and other times they might not have plugged it in all the way uh you guys might want to check for leaks and and testing the boost control system so the code itself signals a performance issue within the boost control circuit um, this could be a problem with the variable geometry supercharger VG, VGT or a regular boost control solenoid. All right. Uh, as you guys can see, there's a lot of different components that you guys want to look at as far as trying to fix this issue. Let's talk about the common uh, causes. All right. And let's go a little bit into de uh, detail about the VGT actuator. Uh, is a common point of failure where the electronic or mechanical control for the turbo is not working as intended. Um, you might, uh, if it's easy to get to, you might want to swap a lot of these parts out, the solenoids, the actuators. Um, some of these parts aren't that expensive. If it's easy to get to, you might want to just 
Just swap those parts out, particularly if you have an older vehicle, see if it actually changes anything. You guys could have wiring issues, short open wires, loose or corroded electrical connectors, or damaged wiring in the boost sensor or solenoid circuit can cause this code. And I will tell you guys this, um, a lot of times it's not shorted wires or corroded electrical connectors. A lot of times, um, uh, if you guys have like electrical issues that has caused this problem, it's because a plug, you know, if, it's because you had your car worked on recently and, and plugs uh, weren't plugged in all the way, stuff like that, or, or were left off. Guys could have vacuum leaks. Leaks in the intake manifold can disrupt air pressure and lead to incorrect boost readings. Um, a lot of times with this issue, as far as vacuum leaks are concerned, you guys will have other um, codes aside from this. And what you guys want to do is you guys really want to just look at all the other codes that come up because this code is essentially a generic code. It doesn't tell you exactly where the problem is. Now, the solenoids, the actuators, all these... Uh, parts of, 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 of the system actually has their own code and if you're lucky enough to get an extra code you probably can figure out exactly where it's coming from wastegate problem a wastegate that is stuck open or closed can prevent the turbo from do, producing the correct boost um, dirty air filter clogged air filter can restrict airflow impacting turbo performance that's a very very easy fix if you guys have that issue Faulty turbo components, issues like internal oil leaks or bearing damage can lead to turbo failure. And that's really not an easy thing to check out. That's probably the thing of last resort as far as fixing is, con is concerned. But let's talk about the symptoms. You guys could have low or no turbo boost. The engine might not be able to generate a sufficient power. You guys could have reduced power. You might experience sluggishness especially during uh, acceleration so um so hope this has helped you guys out if you guys have your own comment on this leave a comment in the comment section if you guys have had this issue and have solved this issue uh leave a comment let us know what you guys did as far as solving the problem um some of these issues might be more common on certain vehicles than others but in any case, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. All that good stuff. Drop a comment. Take care, guys. Hey, guys. How's it going? Welcome to this video. All right. Let's talk about this P0046 code. If you guys have this code, chances are you guys had a check engine on your dash and you guys um, plugged in the scanner and got this code. By the way, if you guys haven't already, please smash the like button. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. All that good stuff. You guys have a comment leave a comment but let's talk about this code how you guys can fix it and and uh what it what what could cause this problem so turbo supercharger boost control a circuit range performance um that is essentially the definition of the code it essentially means that your cost computer detected an issue of the turbocharger or supercharger boost control solenoid circuit um, which eventually, which essentially prevents it from achieving the expected boost pressure. So let's talk about what commonly could cause this issue. It could be a bad boost control solenoid, um, a VGT actuator failure, electrical wiring issues, vacuum leaks, or mechanical problems with the turbo itself such as stuck wastegate veins so what essentially what you guys got to do in this situation is you guys probably have to look uh, at the electrical connections and components especially if your vehicle has been worked on recently around that area a lot of times uh you know the harnesses uh, they uh, whoever's working on them sometimes they forget to plug harnesses in there's a lot of different connectors and other times they might not have plugged it in all the way uh you guys might want to check for leaks and and testing the boost control system so the code itself signals a performance issue within the boost control circuit um this could be a problem with the variable geometry supercharger vgt or a regular boost control solenoid all right 
uh, as you guys can see, there's a lot of different components that you guys want to look at as far as trying to fix this issue. Let's talk about the common uh, causes, all right? And let's go a little bit into de uh, detail about the VGT actuator. Uh, 